Uh, I think my favourite piece of technology is my iPhone. Uh, the irony is, of course, it's an absolutely terrible phone, cuts out all the time, bad signals, but it's brilliant at doing everything else. So, yeah, definitely my iPhone. Uh, I think there's lots of things. I think I'd go for all the, you know, the vision and communication, all that kind of stuff. I think one of the opportunities that a leader has in an organisation is the opportunity to humanise an organisation or socialise it, so that instead of people seeing themselves as individuals with a target or a number or a function that they've got to carry out, but instead seeing themselves as part of a team that are working towards a common objective. I think that's good leaders demonstrate that ability to humanise the organisation. Ah, if I tell you that, this will probably be my biggest business mistake, but there you go. Um, I, when I was in my early 20s, I worked for a telecoms company and they were about to go through a management buyout and I decided to leave the organisation and set up my own uh, business which was a total disaster, and the, uh, the peers that I worked with two or three years later in that organisation all walked out with a, with a large cheque when they, they were bought out, so that was a pretty big mistake. I don't think there's an organisation that I would say I admire most. It would be odd, I think, if I admired my competitors. There's lots of people across the channel uh, that I admire. I think of a friend of mine, Emma D'Souza, who looks after, look, runs Insight in the UK. I admire that job. That's a, that's a huge job. So there's lots of individuals I admire. I suppose also I admire any organisation who, you know, like Trustmark over the last three or four years has managed to grow in what have been really, really difficult economic circumstances. No, I definitely wouldn't retire tomorrow. I think um, my experience is that if I did, I'd probably get quite fat. I'd probably open bottles of wine a bit too early in the day. Uh, it feels like a lot of time to fill, so so for the moment I'm sort of I'm with the Queen and Prince Philip. I'm I'm, I'm going to carry on going. No, I don't think it will, or I don't think it will exist in the way it, it does today. I think that the internet and technology will mean that in 50 years' time, the ability to kind of uh, compare and aggregate for um, product fulfilment will be something that organisations will do for themselves. What there will be the need for is the kind of um, consultancy. Uh, services, you know, things that organisations like Trustmark offer and other organisations in the channel. So I think the channel will evolve in 50 years so that those organisations are providing customer paid value to customers uh, to deliver the IT outcomes that they're looking for. But I think CRN will still be around, definitely, and I, I certainly hope so.